Welcome back to another episode. We are trying to optimize my game. In the last episode, we were getting the maps uh, sections to have a list of um, all the objects that are in it. And actually, did I? Let me just test. Um, let me test the. Oh, we're not going to go chop that one down, are we? Let me test building. A storehouse and see if pause it for a sec storehouse do you have a map section we do yay let me go to my map section um, map section all objects yay all right so let's go to this gathering okay so how do we not that one the gather resource how do we loop through only I do I do while uh, oh that was loud I don't know what that was um Let's see, a bool found, found object. Let's go to false. Uh, while found object. Well, not found object. We're going to return found object, put this in here, and we're going to say found object is, no, we don't want to return it. We're going to say found object is equal to true. Okay. Um, we want to say game object map section is equal to the agent. All right, this is this is bad. We're going to need like another or. Um, we're going to need like a int called map section left. Int map section right. Int map section current, which equals to the map section dot get get component. Actually, hold on. Map section 
dot uh, in our map section we need an, an ID public int map section ID and then this gets created Um, map section, whoops, map section dot map section ID is equal to all map sections uh, equals to this dot count. So let's set that ID. And then back in here, we're going to say map section ID. Okay, let's actually do this. This is going to be minus the map section. All right, it's going to equal the map section current minus one, and this is going to be map section current plus one. Okay. <laughs> so instead of doing this, we're going to say current uh, Uh, no, let's say map section. So if it doesn't find it and it comes back to here uh, if found object not found object then we want to change and we can test this out with just the map section right for now map current is equal to do I even need the current? Yeah, map section right. Map current is plus plus. Oh no, we already set it to that. Map section right is plus plus. Um, let's do another boolean. We'll say no more map sections. And let's say false. So it'll continue doing this if, if this is also not true. If this, if this becomes true, we'll stop. If, or if this becomes true, we'll stop. So if 
map section current map section is greater than map manager dot instance dot all map sections dot count then we want to say no more map sections is true all right <clears throat> Now this is only testing going to the right. Um, and we want to say else map section is equal to map manager dot instance dot all map sections and it's going to be the map current section. And we need this. Okay, so this is looping through everything, getting our list of game objects based on the current map section. If it doesn't find anything, it's going to check the next one. <coughs> Let's test that out. Now, before testing, because we're doing a do loop, there's always a slight chance, if I didn't type something correctly, that it gets stuck in that loop. So, it's always a good, good thing to save it. I'm going to push play. Now, if I click here, to, see, told you. Told you this would happen. All right, just give me a sec to kind of get back to this. All right, uh, sorry about that, but um, I, you probably saw what was the problem. The it might do. I changed it to a do loop, but this needs to be a, an end statement and not an or because if it's an or, then if either one of them were false, it would continue looping. We want them to be both have to be false. So if one becomes true, it would kick out. Um, so I put that in here, and I also put it in the targeting, and I also put it in the is valid. Um, I'm trying to think. What's the difference between the is valid and the check condition? I almost feel like the check condition doesn't need this. Um, but we'll leave it there. I guess it's just a double checking. <laughs> um, but we're trying to optimize it so we don't want to do as much. I mean, this is valid runs at the beginning of the creating the plan, and then the check condition is as it's creating the plan. That's why I'm not sure if it needs this. Because this is in effect, this will not be affected at all during the creating of the plan. And really, it just needs to check whether the conditions are met based on uh, another plan or another action. Okay, but we, we got that, and I will show you that it does indeed work. So I click here. Oops, I got on pause. Click here. He goes there. And let's pick something way down the road. And you can see he's going there. Click here. And the other guy will go also. So we have that. Now, the issue is, let's say I build a uh, house there. No. Let's say I build a storehouse there. Now, right now, for the other uh, actions, I haven't put this in place. I've only put it in place for the gather object. I 
Okay, so I'm waiting until the so we got no more uh, gather objects. Now, if I go down over here and let's say I click on a tree and like that one's off, so we gotta fix that. Let's see if they go and try to get it. And the answer is no, they're not because we. We only checked, since they're in this section, we only checked to the right. We never checked to the left. So, how do we want to do that? Um, in our do loop, we don't want this. left bool no more map sections right okay no more sections right is true um, and then we want another bool checking right, and we'll set to true. So we'll go back and forth. Uh, if checking right is, if checking right, we'll do this. else we will say this is left and left is minus minus and if this is less than if it's less than zero then we know we can't go left anymore and let's change this to left. Uh, sorry, let's change this to left is true. Now for the statement here. And um, This is going to be map sections right. If map sections right is false or no more map sections right, uh, sorry, left is false. So if either of these are false, we'll keep going. But if they're both true, then we will stop. Or if we ever find an object, we'll stop. I know it's weird because I say or, but really it's it's and. These both, this has to be false, and either of these have to be false in order for it to keep continuing. Okay, uh, how can I do this to where I don't have to keep copying this over and over again? Um... Let's copy this whole thing. Uh, actually, we want to just copy all of this. All of this. And maybe we'll have a private void find object. Okay. And why am I getting all kinds of... Okay, let's go back up here. Um, actually, I need all of these things, don't I? Okay. 
So we're going to return a game object, I think. We want to return a game object so that if Oh, shoot. Uh, we're going to say game object temp. And so if we find one, we're going to say temp. I mean, really, we can just read. Turn. We don't even have to, if we find one, we can just return. Uh, return the geo. Right? This doesn't matter anymore. Just return it, and it should, just in case, we'll, whoops. We'll say found object is equal to true, but it should just return and not care anymore. Return this. And so this is going to return null if we get through everything. And so then here delete this if find game object is equal to null is not equal to null return true else return false So if we loop through everything and we don't find it, and then in our is valid, we can do the same thing. Uh, let's delete all this. And basically we just want this here. Okay. Now in this one, hold on. Let's before I delete it. Let me put. Let me do this. If target object is equal to find object. If find object, if target object is equal is not equal to null, then we want to grab this. Um, hold on. We actually don't need a test for this anymore. Okay, the object is target. Because we already got the target. We don't even want that anymore. We just want to set the as task. And then delete this. Let's comment it out just in case. I think that should work. So we have one function for finding a target. And then we can use that in all of our other stuff. Um, return false. So if it actually else uh, here, we want to say return true.
Okay, cross our fingers, right? Now what would be nice if I could take this function here, this find target function. Oh, this is never used. Let's delete it. It would be nice if I could take this function and put it in the base class and then all we would have to do is change this the type so I think I'll do that uh, maybe off screen let's just see if this works because that'll make it easier for uh, plugging in the rest of the fixing all the other um, stuff Okay, we are getting a infinite loop. So something's not working. Um, let me just pause it and I'll get right back to you. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I think I got it fixed. I'm not really too sure what, um, I don't think I changed anything. Maybe I just thought it was stuck in the loop. Um, Uh, but I click and he's going, maybe I hadn't saved it. Um, so that seems to be working. Let's build a storage shed here. All right. So that seems to be working. Now that they're over here, if I click, uh, right here, let's see if they'll attempt to get that one. Now, one thing I'm noticing is, and let's speed things up, let's just see. Yeah, that's not really changing our, if I slow it down. You know, they're going slow. I don't know how much this is really improving the performance. at all um, just build some houses over here build some more houses put on ultra fast let's see if we can get a lot of villagers let's click on different things See how many babies we can get. You can see how many villagers we can get and see if we can get it to debug. We are having some errors though. So that's not good. It's so argument out of range. Um, and this isn't going to be good. I need a too many debugs. Destroying interact. We'll need to get rid of that. I'm not getting those errors anymore. I don't know what the errors were for. Found object. Now we're getting an error. You can see the FPS is going still pretty slow. And it could be because of our our baby making. That hasn't changed as far as the action. Um, let's test this. Let's go to our map manager. Um, We're probably going to have to change some things. Let's go here. Let's add some villagers. Okay. And we'll do create 
agent what I thought I what, what did I name it make baby <laughs> probably said make babies no what did I name it get soulmate create blueprint create villager Oh, it's just, it's just now Cray Village, just Cray Villager. For I is to, let's say 50, create Villager, zero, comma, Vector, two, zero, that zero. Create a bunch of villagers. Let's see if we get some errors here. Okay, we don't have any. You can see our frame rate is hitting around 50. If I do super fast mode. Actually, where are all of our villagers? Pause it for a sec. Where these guys go? Oh, they're all they're all just right there. So fifty of them. Um, so our FPS is hitting around fifty, and we have fifty villagers. So I would say that's an improvement. Um, let me speed it up. Even, but if I go on fast speed, see it doesn't really, it doesn't change. I don't know if I need to change this debug thing um, and I just it's so weird like when I do this to super fast mode they just go normal speed the FPS doesn't change it's really strange um, I'm probably just not doing something correctly. You can see the FPS changes when I really slow them down because it's doing less and less ticks. When I do the super fast, it's doing more ticks. But because it's doing more ticks, it's doing more processes. Um... I don't know, because I really want that speed control thing. I mean, this works. This looks the same as this, which looks the same as this. They all look the same. I mean, we are optimizing. I mean, we have, what, 50 villagers. Let me... They have a map section. Let me build a storage. That's how I build a storage. So why are they going way over here? Look at where they're going. So this is not, something's still not correct. These guys are going way over there. So I feel like it's still looping through most of them. Because why would they go way over there? Why wouldn't they go to one right here? 
So I got to look at that. Oh, I know why. No, I don't know why. Who's moving right now? That's the question. Let me go to this guy. He's the one moving. Map section is two. Um, whoa. Okay, they're all going to go look for stuff, but it's still weird. Look how they're. The only thing I can think of is that all these were tagged. Someone else from... I still don't think it... I'm not trusting it. I'm not thinking it's correct. <laughs> Look at all of them go. The cool thing is the FPS is better. But we're still not... You can see like little lags here. They kind of like stutter. So we hit spikes. Look at them all go. They're all going for their those resources. Let me pause it for a sec. Let me see the wood. Why map section is map section four. So we're getting the right sections here. Why are they going to somewhere far away? Here, let's just test this out. Um, let's go down here. Actually, let's chop down one tree here. Actually, let's get rid of the 50. <laughs> um, let's get rid of this. Let's get one tree here. Wait, wait, I thought I, I didn't save it. Save. Okay, let me click here. That gets him going over there. Click here. And click another one so they both are in this other section there's a there's wood right here oh you know what you know why I'm so dumb I haven't put that in for the gather resource yet uh, for picking up a resource I haven't put it in the other things so let me do that next and see what happens um, because again, if I build, these, he'll go over there because this one is still, the taking a resource is still looping through everything. So I will do that. I will also do it for the storage object. Um, and, um, I'll probably just do that off screen and then, um, you know, do a little bit more testing and then see what else I need to do to kind of get the optimization of it. And remember, uh, or if you do some research on the planning, um, it can go slow with more, with more um, agents. The more you have, the slower it can go. But I'll work on it, and I'll see how I can optimize it before moving forward. Uh, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time.